Kristen here with Realware, and I'm here to show you how to use Microsoft Teams for the first time with the HMT. This is meant to be a hands-on walkthrough training, so grab your device and let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is to make sure the Teams app is loaded on your HMT. And to do that, you'll need to connect to Wi-Fi. Let's go through the steps on how to do that. The most simple way to set up your HMT the first time is to leverage the Realware Companion app. So whether you have an iPhone or an Android phone, you can go to the Google Play Store or the Apple Store and download the Realware Companion app. We're gonna leverage this app for Wi-Fi setup first time use and also logging into Teams. So once you have it on your phone, you can move on to the next slide. Make sure you look for the icon with the gray background, the white HMT, hit install, and go ahead and open the app. Once you're in the app, you'll see four menu options. Go ahead and select the first option that says configuration. A drop down menu will pop up and you'll see the selection for wireless network setup. Go ahead and select that and you'll see four options to input your wireless network settings. You're going to set your wireless network just like you would set up Wi-Fi on any other device. Go ahead and select the network, put in your network security, and type in your password. After you do that, hit generate code, and you'll get a QR code that pops up on your phone. From this point, you're going to get ready to scan this in your HMT. To scan the QR code with your HMT, you're going to power on the device if you haven't already. And from the home screen, you're going to say, My Programs. Once you're in My Programs, go ahead and say, Configuration. Once you're in the Configuration app, the viewfinder will automatically pop up so you can scan your QR code. You're going to use the camera on your HMT to do this, and remember it's located right above the boom arm and can be swiveled up and down. You'll hear the scan accept. You don't have to do anything else. It's going to automatically trigger on your Wi-Fi settings, and you're now connected. To double check, you can check your Wi-Fi signal in the upper right-hand corner or right across the front of your screen underneath your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi settings and battery, you'll see your Wi-Fi name. So now that you're connected, let's make sure the team app loads properly in your programs and you're able to access Teams. To check to see if the Teams app is loaded properly from the home screen, go ahead and say, my programs. Then you're going to say Teams. You'll notice the Teams regular icon. And then we're going to start with the sign-on process. And to do this, we're going to leverage that configuration app for the first time use. So once you see the famous sign-in screen, go ahead and say Sign-in. Here you'll see the screen to use your login credentials. So go ahead and say More Options. We're going to use another QR code to quickly log in your sign in information. So we're going to say scan code. Let's go back to the Realware Companion app and use the remote keyboard to generate a QR code for your team's login. Go ahead and select the second option down that says remote keyboard. And here you're going to just simply type in your login for Microsoft Teams. Once you've done that, the QR code will be generated and go ahead and scan that in with your HMT camera again. Remember, it's going to pick it up automatically, generate your code into the typing field for you. Once you see your login generated from the QR code, go ahead and say accept. Here you're going to see Teams is signing you in and to please wait. Now, once it's logging you into your account, your security settings are going to pop up next. And depending on the user, these settings might slightly be different, but we'll walk you through what my view is here and help you guide through what you might see on your end. Now, I've got a few Teams accounts and it's going to ask me to select which of these accounts that I want to use. 
Here I want to use my work account created by my IT department. So I'm going to say select item one. And here's a quick tip. Any of these item bubbles that pop up with a numerical input, you can always say select item of that number. So here we're going to say select item one. Now it's going to prompt me to enter in my password. So I'm going to go ahead again and say more options. Of course, you can use your voice to input your password, but I've got my configuration app here. I'm going to simply type it in with the app. And I'm going to say scan code, just like we did for the sign in. I'm going to go to the companion app and go back to that remote keyboard option and type in my password. The QR code is then going to generate a new code and I'm going to then scan it with my H. Once it's automatically put in the password input, I go ahead and say submit. Now, once I put in my password, my view is it's going to ask me to put in the security code that was text to my phone. So here I'm going to say select item one to input the code. And you'll notice the numerical bubble is on the screen for you to see. Here I'm just going to simply speak my code. It's very short. So the code that I got on my phone in the text, I'll go ahead and say 310-926. And then I'll say submit. Once I say submit, it's going to automatically sign me in with my login and my password. And then my first time setup is complete. So I'm never going to have to go back to this screen and do this again unless I log out of Microsoft Teams. So this is pulling in all the information from my account and giving me my contacts, my recent calls and everything I need to join a call very easily. Once you see this screen, you know you've done everything right. So go ahead and say next. Then go ahead and say, got it. And now you'll see the view of all of your last recent call logs. And this is your default screen on Teams when you're on the HMT. So the easiest way to connect is to connect from your recent call list. So here, if I wanna call Aaron and I need some help, I will go ahead and say, select item two, because the numerical bubble next to Aaron's name is the number two. If I wanted to call Jeff, I would say select item four, or I could even say select item six. During the first time you use, you'll see the same thing as you would on the Teams app on your phone. And you'll need to provision the app and allow it to record audio and use your camera. So go ahead and say allow for these pop-ups. And once you do it once, you won't have to see them again. You've done that the call is placing and you're already using your HMT to make a Teams call. Your microphone will automatically default on unless you mute it yourself. Once you're in the call you can turn the microphone off, turn the video off, open chat for more options, or say terminate call to end the call. And it's as simple as that. There's a second way to make a call just by saying make call. Now, when you decide to use the make call feature, this is for somebody that isn't in your recent call list. So you're going to want to speak the letters of the name you're looking for. For example, you'll say Papa for the letter P. Here, if I'm looking for Aaron again, I would go ahead and use a numerical input to find Aaron in my contacts. So again, for example, there's a word underneath each letter. I'm going to say that corresponding word to get to each letter. So Oscar would bring up the letter O. Once Aaron is now on my once Aaron pops up on my screen, I can then select which Aaron from my contacts I want to call. So in this case, I want to say select item four to call Aaron Cohen. And then the call will look exactly like we did when we called from the recent call list. So you're now placing the video call. And again, go ahead and say terminate call when you're finished. You might be wondering, how do I demo Teams on the HMT with this small micro display? 
And the goal here is to make sure the person you're demoing for can not only see what the HMT user is seeing, but also the expert on the other end who might possibly be on a PC. A best practice I like to use when demoing Teams Live on the HMT is I've created a demo account for my Teams account. So I have my regular Teams account and I have a Gmail account set up and I simply leverage the Gmail account to make my demo calls. This way the HMT user can use the HMT and wear it as normal, but I have my laptop set up next to me so they can also see the expert view. Remember, Realware also has a Realware Explorer software tool that can screen mirror what you see on the HMT. You can go to realware.com and download that for free and leverage that in your demos. When I call my demo account, I see a screen that looks similar to this because I already have a demo meeting set up. So I simply say select item one to quickly join a demo meeting. This way I've got the full functionality of Teams and I put the demo in my own hands, meaning I don't have to you know, rely on somebody to be available to do the demo live or I don't have to worry about interrupting somebody also. So this kind of puts the demo in your own hands. You're free to do it whenever you need to and you're not worrying about the other person on the other line. When sharing from the expert view, you're simply showing your Teams app on the PC. And this is gonna show in your demo what it looks like to the expert when they're taking a call with a user that has the HMT on. So you'll be able to see what they see or any documents, files, or pictures that they're sharing from the expert view. On the HMT, when you open chat, you're able to see the full gamut of demo features here. So you'll then have a pop-up that has different walkthrough features like take photo, select photo, compose a message, and send a message. You can capture and share a photo on the spot by saying take photo. You can also share other documents and files from your library by saying select photo. If you're not able to do a live demo and you need to quickly share how to use Microsoft Teams on the HMT, there's a link in the bottom of this slide that you can share externally to customers or to partners where they can view how to place a Teams call and all of the functionalities. Definitely have this demo video in your back pocket because it shows what an HMT user actually experiences when they make a call with the HMT. You're able to see what the user sees through the display pod and how the interaction flows between the expert and the user out in the field. So definitely share this video if you're not able to do a live demo and leverage it, spread it around, make sure the word gets out on how Teams with the HMT is a perfect solution for those guys out in the field, for those guys working in the plants or anyone that needs to use their hands to do their job. So to wrap it up, we'll give you a few resources out there. In the last 15 minutes, we covered how to connect your HMT to Wi-Fi, how to log on to Microsoft Teams the first time on your HMT, how to join your first Teams call, and some tips on how to demo the app on the HMT. To learn more about logging in and using Microsoft Teams on Realware, you can go to support.office.com. And remember, realware.com for all of your HMT knowledge needs and all of your product information. Thank you for joining our live webinar walkthrough of how to use the HMT with Microsoft Teams.